today on Blind Date. Like, all in all, do you say you do pretty well with women? Sure. He's already in love with himself. Would you ever consider yourself a nerd? Like, Maria? no? I'm a jock. Will she join the love fest? I just feel so lucky right now to be sitting next to you, Captain Pimp. Plus, I really can't smell a thing, so... I you can't mindful. smell? Love is in the air, but can he smell it? Ew, this is disgusting. It all begins now. I don't think I would not date a guy because he couldn't smell. On Blind Date. <laughs> I'm Roger Lodge and welcome to Blind Date, a show that turned dating into a spectator sport. And big ratings as well. Let's get to it. And today we'll start with Shauna and her date Peter. Now Shauna says she's a new age woman and she wants a man with a nice aura. Well, that's gotta be Peter. He's an artist looking for a spiritual girl with a hot body. Oh, those artistic types, they're so deep. What I do, and I draw, and I paint, and do murals. And I am a complete alternative thinker. I'm very outside the box. Yeah, I'll, you know, approach a girl in a bar and be like, your, your aura fields are excellent. I kind of have a sixth sense. I don't know really what to call it. I didn't know how to describe it, but I see auras around people. Two times in my dating history, I've actually gotten girls to come over for uh, modeling sessions. Most of the guys I've slept with, I don't think I even know their first name right now. Oh, I don't think you want to go wide with that, kid. And remember, it's Peter. <laughs> Hi, I'm Peter. Hey, I'm Shauna. Shauna? Nice to meet you. you can call me Peter, Peter, whichever. I'm real into like energies and positive energies and things yeah. like that. And the sun in general, you know, I just love to soak it up. It's very, very Not for, you know, tanning reasons or anything like that, but just, I don't know, it's feel like a, like a gecko or a lizard yeah. something it's making me feel better. <laughs> no, it's true. I like, I went through this very like kind of new agey period and like, and I would just wake up and like, you know, they say like, do not look at the sun, you know, yeah. in school and everything. And I would just sit there and like stare at the sun, like, stare at the sun, like, stare at the sun. And something about it, seriously though, like, it's beautiful. it like it just made my vision like so much clearer. Oh my goodness. And like, so do you have to wear glasses now that you stare well, at the sun for I kind long? I screwed my eyes up a bit. Oh, no. <laughs> but no, but I don't think it was from that. I think it was from playing Game Boy at night when I was like six. <laughs> I uh, got a blindfold in here and some random objects that I'm gonna put under my nose and we'll see what we can do. But I definitely can't smell. You can't smell anything. Right. Ew, this is disgusting. Oh, is it right under my nose? Like... Alright. Okay. Smells exactly like my hand. <laughs> Cinnamon. No. <laughs> Old Bay seasoning. <laughs> It's garlic. Garlic? <laughs> Wait, uh, no, no, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, the, uh, uh, the, the marker, the markers that smell like fruit, and I'd say it was the red one. No. <laughs> I don't have all my senses, <laughs> but. I don't think I would not date a guy because he couldn't smell. Okay. <laughs> Some I old, probably would not some date old a guy Italian if he man smelled once, really Some bad. old Italian man once at a, at a gym I used to work at said, don't you ever tell anybody they are secret. Oh, yes, Hello, sure. Sir. Hello, sir. Hi, I'm Peter. Peter. Peter, come on in. Very welcome. Nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Hi this is Shana. Shana. Come on in. Nice Be to meet you. Each thing has their own energy fields, okay? And since uh, you two are here, would you like to feel each other's energy fields? Would that be exciting, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Sure. I'm up for it. I'm okay. definitely Peter, interested. what do you think? Yeah. Okay? It's like, it's like there's like a, you're like an energy egg around you or something. Okay, so you feel Yeah, I shape, definitely okay? feel that. You feel like, 
like the hotness right here. People are feeling some hotness there, Shana. Are you also feeling something around that? Yeah, I'm mm. just, I'm feeling myself pulsing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Have a wonderful Likewise. evening ahead and hopefully we'll see you someday soon again. Right. I'll see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. lesson we learned on aura reading. Yeah. I was so glad we did that. Yeah, I know. Me too. That was crazy. I find it so incredibly fascinating and it's like, and not many other people do, you right. know? So I, I heard you tell him that like you can actually, you can you can make out some of the colors as well yeah. like, that a person projects. No? Yeah. This is me. I am, um, I really have to look though. You know, it came to me a lot easier right. when I was like really involved in all of it. It's like you have to be in that certain like state of mind. You know what I'm not so good at is um, actually knowing what the colors mean. Yeah. So when people are like, either. what's my aura? And I tell them the color and I just cannot. I know, I forget. Like I, I, I keep trying to look it up and see what they mean, but I always forget. Yeah, you know? I have that, that sort of like, book that you have, I think. Do you really? Yeah. yeah it's kind of weird that like, we both know. I know. We both, what the hell's chance is that? I know, seriously. Mind enduring one of my techniques? Sure. Okay. Close your eyes. Okay. So I had a really good time tonight. Oh, as did I. And I'm Definitely happy to have had a blind date where I actually met somebody cool. <laughs> so, can I call you? Please. Yes. Yeah? I hope okay. so. I hope Thank so. you very much. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Looks like these two will be feeling a lot more than each other's auras. Come on, they adored one another. And they'll make some future plans next. Up next. Like, all in all, do you say you do pretty well with women? Sure. His winning streak could be history. I do go tanning every now and then. That's for girls. That's next. I know Sashi taught us some techniques and everything, but would you mind enduring one of my techniques? Sure. Okay. I can't believe girls still fall for that move. And like the rest of this date, it worked like a charm. Peter's vibe was really positive and really cool. Shauna's vibe was excellently relaxed and uh, you know, she was really interested in what I was talking about and I was extremely interested in what she was talking about. The energy healer was odd and strange, but in such a beautiful way, and I think Peter and I really clicked in understanding him in that sense. It's no joke, like when I was feeling Shauna's energy and vibe, like it felt like my arm was just going through a, like water. I definitely want a second date with Peter. We've got a lot in common. I think it could go somewhere. I definitely want a second date with Shauna because she's motivated, she's beautiful, and we have so much in common, I can't believe it. Ah yes, once again, we work our magic. You can't teach what we do. All right, let's check out our next daters, Nicole and Nick. Now, Nicole's a pre-med student who says she may look sweet, but beware of her rebellious side. Well, her date Nick told us that he really can't pinpoint what he likes in women, but he definitely knows what he doesn't like. I can't stand these ego girls that, you know, mommy and daddy have been just sending them checks. A lot of times I go out and people assume that 
I am one way because of how I dress. I love style, like I love keeping up with things. I'm kind of tough in a lot of ways and I like sports. I have a lot of girlfriends that I have sex with, but it's cool. People think that I'm gonna sleep with them or kiss them. Oh, I'm sure mom and dad will be thrilled to hear that. Good luck, you two. I'm Nicole. I'm Nick. We moved in like, I don't know, like a week, week two weeks ago, and we got like the authentic furniture. The authentic pimp couch. Which is hot, yes. <laughs> That's just... so important. Where are you from originally, though? Pittsburgh. Oh, yeah. I knew, I knew, I could tell. Yeah. There's some type of strange accent going on. There's no accent. I speak well. I'm actually going to school right now um, to be a doctor. Are you serious? What kind of, do you know what medicine? Yeah, I'm going to do plastic surgery. You're joking. No. Really? Yeah, really. Nip and tuck. Yeah. I just graduated from Penn State. Mm -hmm. Do you know where that is? Yes, I do. That's a really good school. Well, I, you're thinking of Penn, actually. That's in, that's in Philadelphia. Okay, that, so so you're, so you're so you're you're the dumb <laughs> no, version no. of it. No, I um, Penn State is a Big Ten school. Um, oh, so you're a jock. I, I did run track for them. Yes. Start Nico Station. Nice to meet you. We're at Exotic Wildlife Rescue Center. We're gonna see a lot of great animals today. Oh, it looks like my couch. I thought that was real for a second. No, that's my couch. Don't worry. Oh, you should take him home with you. Yeah, I feel like that would go nicely in front of the fireplace. Right. Uh, with your little pimp motif. It's a big kitty. <laughs> Hi, yeah, Mike. I'm going to be your instructor. Hi, Mike. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, and... Hello. I'm Nicole. Nicole, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. You guys have played before? I was captain. Captain of your team. Uh, okay. I don't have that high credential, but I played. Okay. Yeah. Would you ever consider yourself a nerd? Like, when you're, no? no? I'm a jock. So, because, see, this is interesting. I mean, I'm sophisticated. I, uh, I enjoy the arts. And uh, I know what's going on as far as current events and history, etc. I mean, I'm well-rounded. I just don't have, like, this love for, you know, long division or, you know, the, the anatomy of, like, you know, the canine species. Like, I really don't care. Like, all in all, do you say you do pretty well with women? Sure. Wow! Well, I mean... I'm just, I just feel so lucky right now to be sitting next to you, Captain Pimp. Do you use bronzer? No. No. Okay. I do go tanning every now and then, but not here. You go tanning? Well, back east I did. You go to a tanning bed. I went to a tanning bed back east, yes. That's for girls. So what are you into? You into these, like, bookworms? That just, yeah, like... I like guys that... Yeah? Like... Wear, like, thick glasses and, uh, you know, avoid the sun at all costs, like that kind of a thing. No, just a guy that's into, like, doing his own thing, not trying to look good all the time. I think I have you figured out. You're not very caring and compassionate with the ladies. You're more out for yourself type of dude. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna disagree with any of Wow, did I just get a, I just got a However, degree. you think that all of those aspects are the majority of my personality, and they're not.
Nothing that you said was like anything that I could touch upon that I even wanted to talk about. It was basically just like me defending myself the entire time. That's cool. I mean, it's just the way that you are. There was never a, a chance for me to be like, this is what I'm all about. This is what you'll get to know. It was just like, I had the sword up the entire time and I was just like banging your sword away. Do you really feel like that? Sure. Like, really? Yeah. Uh, hopefully I didn't scare you away from California too much. No, I'll be here for a while. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, have a good night. Bye. Oh, that wasn't good. But how could Nicole not see how great Nick was? I mean, Nick certainly saw how great Nick was. We've got an epic post date right around the corner. Don't go anywhere. Coming up. So, Peter, I'm having a good time with you. It's a love duet. Oh, Shauna, come to the park with me. The cutting room floor is coming up. I do go tanning every now and then, but not here. You go tanning? Well, back east I did. You go to a tanning bed? I went to a tanning bed back east, yes. That's for girls. Oh yeah? Try telling that to George Hamilton. And I'm thinking artificial tanning was the least of Nick's problems on this date. I was actually not sexually attracted to Nick um, because his personality just turned me off. I really don't care what Nicole's opinion of my mind or me or anything about me. Nick seemed really narcissistic and I just don't care to know any more about him. I didn't care what she was saying. It was just, this is just some person that I don't respect. I'm not interested in a romantic future with Nick because he's prettier than I am and that doesn't work for me. She's not a psych major, she's a doctor. So, I mean, I think she's mixing up her fields. So I think she should just stick to one thing and just Keep her mouth shut. I think he's gonna be happier going home with himself. And I couldn't have said it better myself. All right, coming up, a couple that's really in tune with each other. It's off our cutting room floor next. You are the guy. You're up on stage. Welcome back. Now earlier we watched Peter and Shauna hit it off big time on their date. And I'm thinking these two will make beautiful music together. Wait a minute, what am I saying? They already have. And we found it just lying on our cutting room floor. Enjoy. So Peter, I'm having a good time with you. With you. And Peter, I can't wait to go get some food. <laughs> Some food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can't smell, but that's okay with me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The moment you and I were together in the aura reading room, the man said, relax, come next to me and go closer to you. I invaded your eggshell aura. <laughs> now I want a little bit more of oh, Shauna. Come to the park with me. I gotta know, what is that in your hand? Is it a fish, a pickled egg, or some chewing gum? I don't care, as long as you get that dog to kiss me. How do you like that? That was great. Oh uh, yeah, I that knew it. That was great. Wow, there's a minute 10 we'll never get back. I'm Roger Lodge, and I'll be back tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>